This is an example of what happens when people doing the same things in the same way for 50 years, and I include President Biden in this, uh, have generated the results that we see right now. Uh, war in Eastern Europe, horrifying bloodshed in the Middle East. Uh, I'm 54. I've been witnessing this my entire life. Uh, the, the cycle of violence, the cycle of misery, the loss of life, and it's enough. And I believe in Israel's right to exist. And I also believe in Palestinian self-determination and their need uh, of a country. And I intend to be the first Jewish president in American history and be the one that signs documents that finally, finally establishes a Palestinian state because I've had enough. Uh, Hamas is not Palestinians and Benjamin Netanyahu is not Israelis. And I believe if you surveyed both populations right now, they would say the same thing. So what do I want to see? I want to see every single one of those hostages released, including apparently nine Americans, which I believe should be the foremost priority of both the American president and anybody in elected office here in the United States. Release the prisoners, release the hostages. Then, yes, there should be a ceasefire. Uh, and then most importantly, Israel should not be taking on Hamas alone. I think this is a time for like-minded nations of the world including the Arab states and Gulf nations, to unify in eliminating Hamas, ensuring that there are free and fair elections in both the West Bank and Gaza so that Palestinians can choose, and I pray that they do, choose peace. A new generation of leadership. Uh, Abu Mazen is in his 80s. The Palestinian Authority is corrupt. Hamas is the enemy of both Israel and Palestinians. It's time for change. It's time for new leadership. Same is true in Israel. I think Benjamin Netanyahu's right-wing government uh, is culpable. I think the settlement policy is abhorrent. Uh, and the only way, the only way that Israel will be safe and secure, the only way that Palestinians will have a homeland of their own with security and opportunity, and the only way that America can come back together is if we solve this issue. So my call to action is just that. Release the hostages, uh, end the hostilities, have a multinational peacekeeping force that creates peace in Gaza, so that there can be an election and we can create change immediately. Hamas has to be eliminated. And I believe it's time for Benjamin Netanyahu uh, to be taken out of office by Israelis in a democratic nation and end this nonsense. It is time. It is long overdue. And the same people in the same roles are not going to get it done. I cannot stand to watch this bloodshed any longer.